Hey guys, Prince of Macedon here. I'm doing a commentary video for Shogun 2 Total War. My opponent's name is Smokedope G-E-R, as in Germany, I assume. This is the uh, Force Gully map, and uh, the video play, the video footage you'll be seeing is live, but this commentary is not live. Unfortunately, I did record, or I, I tried to record myself talking while I was playing, but I forgot to turn my microphone on, so I played 10 minutes of this battle, then I realized that the microphone wasn't even on. So the commentary you're getting right now is taken after the uh, the game was played. So this is not a live commentary, but the gameplay footage is live. And you're going to see my actual clicks. But uh, you can see my army here. I've got six. I can't even see that. I think it's five units of uh, Yari. I'm oh, sorry, of Katana Samurai. Two units of Yari Samurai. Four units of Light Cav. And four units of uh, Bo Ashigaru. Then I got my Avatar's Bodyguard unit. And I'm going to deploy towards um, this part of the map so I can capture the the building nearest me. And uh, my opponent deployed immediately as well. But yeah, I want to capture that that building right there. And that's that's my opponent's army. He's got he has a uh, two units of Yari Cav, his avatar's unit. He's got two units of Yari units. One's uh, a Yari Ashigaru, I believe, and the other's a Yari Samurai. And then he has uh, four units of bow samurai. Then he's got I forgot what else. Yeah, he has katana samurai and nodachi samurai. And that was his army. But I'm moving my general first, and I want to capture this uh, this building here. And you can see my opponent's going for his building as well. So we both have the same idea. Well, actually, my opponent's not going for his building. He's going for the building in the middle, which is basically in no man's land. He's going to bypass the one that was nearest him. So, I'm going to uh, bring up my archers here. And... Actually, I'm bringing up all my units. But I'm going to leave my, my light cap in the forest to keep him hidden. That'll keep my tactical options open. And look at my opponent's doing. He's, he's uh, sending all of his Yari Cav forward. And this was a reckless mistake. Because look how close he gets to my, my bow Ashigaru. So, simply, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to target his, uh, his Yari Cav. And I'm going to swing my my Yari Samurai in a position to protect my Bo Ashigaru. So look at that, my guys are slicing up his uh, Yari Cav with a concentrated missile fire. And once that one starts to waver, I switch targets and I target his other unit of Yari Cav. And all the meanwhile, I'm going to move my Yari Samurai in a position to oh, intercept his horses. And uh, look where his guys run to, they run right to my, my Light Cav. And he didn't see them because my guys were hidden. So... With that, I destroyed two Yari Cab units without losing any of my guys, I think. I might have shot one of my guys with my arrows by accident, but for the most part, my, my losses were were very, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's not worth talking about. Whereas he lost two Yari Cabs, so that gave me the huge tactical edge. Um, so anyways, I'm going to move my my units up, my my heavy infantry or my sword infantry, in a position to to fight his in case he moves up too. But um, right now we're going to engage in our, our missile duel. It's going to be my four Bo Ashigaru versus his four Bo Samurai. One of his uh, Bo Samurai are veterans, the other three are not. And his guys are actually in tight formation. My guys will be going into loose formation. So the fact that my guys are in loose formation and the fact that my guys are veterans, that might give me the edge. That's what I was thinking. I already know what happened, because as I said, the commentary is not live, even though the gameplay footage is live. I can't stress that enough. I just don't want you guys to be confused about what you're seeing here. So uh, since I already, since my opponent already knows I have like have, I'm going to take them out of the forest, because there's no reason to hide them anymore. Unless my opponent has bad memory. But yeah, now my opponent's bringing up his, uh, his, um, swords, his sword units. And I'm gonna bring up my general to inspire my archers in the in the skirmish duel. And here I made this uh, this tactical mistake. I try to bring my my cav, like two of my cav units to the right. And I I will show you the tactical mistake. You can see it right now, actually. See, one of my units is going right next to his army, instead of taking the other way around, which was probably actually shorter. But instead, it went the long way around, and now he's 
he's in range of his units right now, so I did lose a few horses. See how close they got? Like, I don't understand why they didn't go the shorter way. But, oh well. At least my mistake there wasn't as bad as his mistake at the beginning with his Yari Cav. So, I could afford a few losses. But I'm going to put them right there. I'm going to strike his army, the backs of his army when I can. Or take out his archers. Just whatever comes first. That's my avatar. And my opponent is concentrating fire with his um, archers, whereas I'm spreading my, you know, the targets of my archers out. Like I, I distributed the targets uh, equally, but my opponent is focus firing. So you can see one of my units, that unit you know, that's down to like a ten men. That's because he focus fire on them, but he basically neglected my other archer units for the most part. So I was getting um, more widespread damage on his guys, whereas only one of my guys, you know, took any serious damage. Our men are running from the battlefield. So I am losing one of my guys, but it's really not that bad because my other three units are pretty healthy and his units are not as healthy. So I am. I am going to come out of the skirmish phase um, with more, with more skirmishers. This is my light cab, just letting them wait. You can see he's protecting his back line with a Yari Samurai, so I can't go for a back charge because of those guys. But I do have ideas to to suck them out of position. And until then, I'm going to maintain the missile fight just because I have the edge right now. So there's no point in and surrendering my, my missile advantage right now. Two of his units are routing, and only one of mine's routing. They're not routing, they're wavering. Which means they're about to route, if nothing changes for them. Our men are running from the battlefield! Shame for this play! That's alright. Um, that's really about it. This is just the missile fight. Um... Look at that, boom, 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 boom. I do like his color scheme, it's like orange and black. That, that's pretty wicked looking. My color scheme was green and black. So we both had similar ideas, you know, mixing in black with a brighter color. It's a cool idea. I like it. And at some point my opponent sees that his, um, his archers are losing, so he's gonna bring up his uh, melee sword units forward. So that's when I decided to bring my, my sword units forward to meet his his charge. But at least my archers came out the better. But this is when I start to bring up my sword units to play with his. One of our units has used all its ammunition, my lord. Yeah, that's pretty premature. Um, so yeah, I do have my, my light cap units on both wings. They are ready to pounce whenever opportunity knocks. But uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna I'm just gonna bring out my my sword units to play. And in case you're wondering why the graphics are low, that's because when I played this game, I was playing the game, and whenever I played the game, I play on low, so the game doesn't lag. If I record from a replay, then I then the I raise the graphics. But for shameful display. But when I play the game, I, I play on low, so in case you're wondering. So, I'm going to take my light cap and I'm going to charge his, uh, his uh, bow samurai in the back. And you can see my light cap on the left wing going behind his army right now. So I'm slowly um, working my, my horse edge. I'm going to take advantage of that fact. I'm going to charge the backs of those uh, Yari samurai, or Yari Ashigaru. And there's my light cap charging right into his bow samurai. And you can see that his... Um, his Yari Samurai is still protecting his back line. But now he starts to peel them off as he sees my, my charge on his other wing. So that, when he when he leaves, when he moves his Yari Samurai to to move to the right, that leaves his that rear open to my to my left wing calf, or my, my right wing calf. So I'm gonna charge right at his back, and that's gonna cause mass mayhem in his ranks. So that was my idea to sucker his, uh, not sucker, but you know, to reposition his Yari Samurai. So I can launch rear charges. Our men are running from the battlefield. So I am losing some guys, but not as many guys as I'm routing. So I'm pretty happy with uh, the battle. 
and I'm just going to slowly just uh, pull my guys into the fight. I'm, I'm even bringing in my my boat Ashigaru to bolster my my katana samurai, and it's my just Lord, an encirclement. A glorious victory will soon be yours. Uh, yeah. So um, that's pretty much the end of the fight. I tried to zoom in, but you can't really see anything. It's too close. And I actually managed to keep my general alive. And it was a decisive victory. And um, I did take a screenshot of the uh, results. And I will let you see the results here. Here we go. Boom, look at that. Looks like... Yeah, I'll let you read. You guys can read. Anyways, good game to my opponent. Hope you guys enjoyed.